Howdy church, my name is Rhett and I'm the student pastor here at Woodridge. I hope this midweek devotional finds you well. I wanted to give you a little bit of insight on a, a great and exciting event we have coming up for the students and also an opportunity for you to pray for said event and then a challenge for you as well um, that the students will kind of be learning at camp. Uh, so I kind of already said it, student camp is coming up in just under a month, June 6th through the 10th. My challenge for you is to, to pray for the students. As we know, whenever we get away from distractions, the hustle and bustle of everyday life, we're able to allow God to work in our lives a little bit more that week um, than any other week that we might allow him to. Uh, so pray for changed hearts, pray for fellowship to be renewed, uh, pray for students to come to Christ who had never known him before. Uh, pray for students to find fellowship and community that they had been missing out on before um, or just lost um, and got out of touch with it. At camp this year, we have an exciting theme. We're learning about what is the cost. Um, so we're going to be learning about what is the cost that Jesus paid for our lives. And then as we take up that calling to follow Christ, there's also a cost that we incur. When we receive Christ, of course, we receive everything that comes with that. We receive a new identity in Christ. We receive joy. We receive being part of the family of God. Um, but in order to follow him, we are also called to give something up. This idea that comes from Luke 9.23, where Jesus says, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. We say whenever we follow Christ, we, again, we get all the benefits, we get all those things, the gain that comes with that. But we also are called to give up ourselves. What is something this week that you need to give up that is preventing you from following Jesus as you should? It is getting in the way of that discipleship. And we know that's what discipleship is, is following Jesus. Maybe it's a distraction in your life that is just taking your eyes off of Christ and you need to lay that thing down so you can take up the cross of Christ again. Maybe it's even a good thing that you have made a God thing. You have put it out of priority and you've lifted it above where God should be in your life. Maybe it's a relationship with someone else. Maybe it's a, a hobby that has become no longer a hobby, but you have elevated above God. Uh, maybe it's a relationship. Whatever it is, what do you need to lay down so you can take back up the cross of Christ? And my challenge for you is to pray that for the students because we're going to have a time where we get to dive into fellowship and worship during camp. But it's also a challenge for all of us as Christians to look at every single day we get to almost rededicate our lives to Christ and, and lay ourselves down again and take back up the cross of Christ. So that's a challenge for all of us, but I want you to encourage you to think of one thing that you can give up for Christ today that is getting in the way of your discipleship and you can fully take up everything that that means to follow Jesus.